So I always been a hard worker. I actually pride myself on how hard I actually do work. Um, people notice it. I think this week I did 60 hours uh, in front of the camera, grinding, creating content, training two or three times a day, but I'm feeling run down. I'm at my favorite local spot. I'm gonna show you how I eat when I'm just not feeling 100%. Let me go with the hamburger with lettuce and tomato, uh, medium. Um, and I also want uh, reggaetoni. All right, guys, so look, this is not a normal meal for me. This is my post-workout treat. And the reason I'm doing this is actually because I feel extremely overtrained. Um, this last week has been very tough. I've been recording five days in a row. I think I did 60 hours worth of footage inside the gym, projecting my voice, training two or three body parts per day, um, just getting YouTube content, some content from my subscription-based websites. And people see us uh, athletes, they see all we do on stage and all we do in our workouts, but they don't see all the other stuff. And in fact, it's actually quite grueling. So I know my strength is pretty diminished right now. Uh, my voice hurts, I'm just overtired, and really taking a couple days off of training, restoring some normalcy into my diet and into my lifestyle is very important. So Saturday, Sunday, no cardio, no weights, and I'm just gonna continue eating instinctively, you know, pounding down the calories, replenishing my system, my immune system so I don't get sick, so I can continue training hard each and every day moving forward. So there's nothing wrong with a meal like this. Your body actually does a great job of talking to you, okay? It gives you signs. Hey, I'm starting to slow down in the gym. Hey, my fast twitch fibers, uh, my explosive strength isn't there this week. So you have to be alert and have eyes on the inside. Know what you're feeling so that you can combat it effectively, whether that means sleeping in or increasing your calories or just taking a couple days off your structured training routine, which is exactly what I'm doing here. And this will not set me back. It'll actually replenish me allow me to recharge, this way I continue training balls to the wall for another five days in a row, moving forward. I got rigatoni here in vodka sauce, and I have a burger with french fries. Oh, that's hot. Whoa. So let's talk a little bit about overtraining, okay? Some of you are familiar with the word, some of you aren't, and some of you think you actually know what it means and you really don't. Because I hear people saying overtraining all the time. And uh, the reality is that most people never lift heavy enough or train hard enough to experience overtraining. In fact, overtraining is something that's like very serious for your health. I don't think that I'm there yet, but I'm just mentally drained, a little physically drained. But overtraining is when you're really just beating up your body nonstop, time at time, running yourself down. I'll eat like this one out of a um, hundred times. And this will actually have no impact physically on my body except for the increased sodium. So I might have some bloating tomorrow, but I know that, I'm aware that in two days of just keeping my water high, I could dilute that sodium just by drinking an excess of water and flushing that out of my system. So many times people have a cheat meal, they go off their diet and they feel like, you know, they have a huge setback. In reality, it's not. It's just a layer of water, it's a film of water. So if you're eating six meals a day and they're all clean and you have one bad, bad meal, it's not enough to see progress or it's not enough to destroy your progress. So just focus on fueling your body, feeling good inside and outside the gym, and that's how you ensure that you're gonna make progress with your body. I'm actually pretty upset that the hamburger gets a bad rap. Because if you don't have mayonnaise, you don't have cheese, what really bad, what is bad about a hamburger? It's just meat, a little vegetables, and some bread. More of a refeed than a cheat.
All right, so it's one thing to follow your coach's orders and your coach's plan, or maybe you found a plan on the internet, on bodybuilder.com, or one of these other reputable websites, but it's another thing to really listen to yourself, really listen to your body when you feel your strength going down, when you feel run down and tired, when you feel like you're about to run your immune system into a wall and get sick, this is very valuable. It's important to be real with yourself and be truthful with yourself. When you're not feeling good, take two steps back. In fact, take one step back, two steps forward. Peace out.